What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm pretty excited for this one. What we're going to be doing is changing over the levers from the stock silvery ones to these beauties here. A genuine triumph, black billet. Now, apart from the obvious aesthetic differences, obviously being black, they're going to look much better. These stock ones only have four points of adjustment, just there. And these ones have six. So all the way through to six. And they might be lighter. I'm going to weigh them before I put them on. So we know. Now I'm not expecting this to be too difficult. So as far as I can tell, I've never done levers, levers, whatever you want to call them. But as far as I know, it's only this one 10 millimeter bolt on either side. And I think that'll do, at least for the brake. And I know for the clutch, because it is cable driven, as you can see the cable there, it's gonna have to be pulled out of there. So we'll see what we can do and see if I can figure it out. Anyway, I'll jump into it. So first up, I'm gonna weigh them. On the scales, 308 grams. That's pretty light. They do feel really light and top notch quality. So that's good. Now once I've got the old ones off, I'll weigh the old ones and I'll tell you the difference. So I'm gonna start off with the brake, just by undoing this 10 mil here. It wasn't up very tight. I think that needs to unscrew with a flathead screwdriver. Now I'm using a cloth in this because I don't want to scratch it. All right, so that was actually fairly easy. Actually Nissan levers, so good to know. Slide this in and see how it goes. And once that's screwed in, we'll just do up the nut on the bottom. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. So, the black lever is on. Fairly easy. It's got a nice little Triumph logo on the back there. Nice touch. So, the difference that compared to that. Much nicer looking. All right, now we'll get the clutch one off. Hopefully that's not too difficult. I'm assuming it's about the same. Oops. Yep, drop that right down there. It's okay. Now, I think we just push this pin out. And so that's released like that. I was hoping to be able to just wiggle it out, but it looks like I'm gonna have to undo it, which is fine. So we're just gonna lightly unnip that. And hopefully that will just slide out. I actually have no idea how to get that out. I think that might need to actually come off all the way. Oh yeah, I see what's going on. Right, so if I unhook this, unwind this and see what happens. Now I've left this locking bit here in the same spot so I don't lose the tension amount, like to, at least roughly the same as what it should be. Now, I don't know quite how to do this. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever done these on any bike. So this is just me guessing at this point. What I might do is take that off, unscrew that properly and see if that helps. All right, so it's just a couple of five millimeter screws back here. Now, hopefully I don't mess this up and put it back on wrong because that would be bad and we don't want bad things to happen. Not on this bike. Okay, so that's off. Yeah, I can see an outline of where things were, so I think that'll be okay. Now, if I can disconnect this wire, I'll disconnect this just so I can turn this freely. All right, so that's T20 Torx bit, just to undo the clutch position sensor. Okay, now that that's free, I just undo this. Nope, I actually have no idea how to get this loose. Oh, there we go. Just took a bit of persuasion. So that's off with a lot of difficulty. Hopefully this one goes on easier. I don't think it's going to, but we'll see. All right, so that's the top. So that needs to go in that way. So I'm just gonna pull this out a little bit. Try to, try to slide that in there like that. And I think that's got it. Yep, that's in. Wasn't too bad actually. Now wind this out to roughly where it was. 
which I think it was about there. And fit this back on. Got to put that center back on. So that goes on there. I'm gonna do the sensor back up. And this goes on right there. You can kind of see where it's marked, so I'm just gonna go back to that same position. Should line up with the plus sign, I think. Yeah, so there's a little plus sign in there. All you have to do is line the top with the join up with the cross. All you should have is a little line out the one side. And then that should give you your position. Okay, now, you might have seen this fall out of the old one. That has to go in there. Also with your sensor, the gray bit stays pushed in, otherwise you won't get things in the right spot. Slide down the pin, fill up the bolt, or the nut. Okay, that's in. Now, you might want to adjust the clutch because it's probably not in the same spot as it was unless you've marked it out properly, which I didn't. I think it's in a pretty decent spot though. So I'm just gonna do it up from where it is. Just nip it up so it doesn't move. Okay, so clutch is on. So that looks pretty damn good. Much better than the silver ones. Right, so all in all, the brake lever was easy. That took me 30 seconds, as you saw. Clutch, however, was a little bit more difficult. Um, maybe if you don't really know what you're doing, like me, you should probably take it to someone who does know. I'm probably going to run it to the mechanic and get them to adjust the clutch for me just to make sure it's in the right spot because I don't really know how to fix that. But anyway, this is just a, you know, if you're beginning like me and you wanted to try it yourself, this is pretty much what you'd have to deal with. So yeah. Anyway, let's see how much the old ones weighed. Okay, so the old ones weigh 312 grams. So it's literally four grams heavier. So if, you get, if you're getting those for weight savings, probably not worth it. Considering they're $215 or something like that, just for the sake of saving four grams. But if you want them because they look amazing, then go for it, they're worth it. I might take it for a quick ride, make sure they feel good. Anyway, that's it for today. Make sure to subscribe and like the channel, comment below what you think, and don't forget to click the link in the description because I am giving away a free t-shirt. So check the description for details on how to enter that. All right, enjoy your day guys. I'll see you in the next one.